Shavnam Diaries Podcast Hare Krishna, we are reading Bhagavad Gita as it is, the book by His Divine Grace, Abhay Charanaravinda, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Chapter 4, Transcendental Knowledge, Text 35 Yajgyatva na punar mohan Evam yasya si pandava yena bhutanya sheshani Draksya syatman yathomai Having obtained real knowledge from a self-realized soul, you will never fall again into such illusion, for by this knowledge you will see that all living beings are but part of the Supreme, or in other words, that they are mine. Wow. So yesterday we read one of the most important verses of Bhagavad Gita, which was just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Tadvidhi pranipate na pariprashne na sevaya. And uh, in this verse, Krishna explains that having obtained real knowledge from a self-realized soul. Interesting, right? He says that you will never fall, fall again into such illusion because by this knowledge you will see that all living beings are but part of the Supreme, that they are Krishnas. Wow. So basically, if you really understand that all living beings are part of the Supreme, and you are also part of the Supreme, so it has to be both. Not only that I am the soul, I am spiritual, I am... But also everybody else. Everybody else are Krishnas. Krishna says they're mine. They're part of the Supreme. And if we will see that, not just I theoretically know that. It's one thing, I theoretically, like I know, like I've been told ever since I was a kid that I am the soul, I am not this material body. But do I actually see that? Right? Drakshyasi means you will see. So when we will actually see that, we will never fall again into such illusion. And how do we see that? We see that by having obtained real knowledge from self-realized soul. How to do that we discussed yesterday. Purport. <clears throat> the result of receiving knowledge from a self-realized soul or one who knows things as they are is learning that all living beings are parts and parcels of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna. The sense of an existence separate from Krishna is called Maya, Ma, not, Ya, this. Something that we have nothing to do with Krishna. That Krishna is only a great historical personality. And that the Absolute is the impersonal Brahman. Factually, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, this impersonal Brahman is the personal effulgence of Krishna. Krishna, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the cause of everything. In the Brahma Samhita, it is clearly stated that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the cause of all causes. Even the millions of incarnations, incarnations are only his different expansions. Similarly, the living entities are also expansions of Krishna. The Mayavadi philosophers wrongly think that Krishna loses his own separate existence in his many expansions. This thought is material in nature. We have experienced in the material world that a thing 
when fragmentally distributed, loses its own original identity. But the Mayavadi philosophers fail to understand that absolute means that one plus one is equal to one, and that one minus one is also equal to one. This is the case in the absolute world. Hmm. Remember that verse from Ishopanishad? Om Purna Madah Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudachate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishate It says that every part of the complete whole is perfect and complete in itself. So you cut a piece of cake and you have a whole cake. And the cake that you've cut the part from is still a whole cake. Yeah, one minus one equals one. One plus one equals one. This is absolute. Hmm. For want of sufficient knowledge in the absolute science, we are now covered with illusion. And therefore we think that we are separate from Krishna. Although we are separated parts of Krishna, we are nevertheless not different from him. The bodily difference of the living entities is maya, or not actual fact. We are all meant to satisfy Krishna. By maya alone, Arjuna thought that the temporary bodily relationship with his kinsmen was more important than his eternal spiritual relationship with Krishna. The whole teaching of the Gita is targeted toward this end. That a living being, as Krishna's eternal servitor, cannot be separated from Krishna. And his sense of being and identity apart from Krishna is called Maya. The living entities as separate parts and parcels of the Supreme have a purpose to fulfill. Hmm. Having forgotten that purpose since time immemorial, they are situated in different bodies as men, animals, demigods, etc. Such bodily differences arise from forgetfulness of the transcendental service of the Lord. But when one is engaged in transcendental service through Krishna consciousness, one becomes at once liberated from this in from this illusion. One can ac- acquire such pure knowledge only from the bona fide spiritual master and thereby avoid the delusion that the living entity is equal to Krishna. Perfect knowledge is that the Supreme Soul, Krishna, is the supreme shelter for all living entities. And giving up such shelter, the living entities are deluded by the material energy, imagining themselves to have a separate identity. Thus, under different standards of material identity, they become forgetful of Krishna. When, however, such deluded living entities become situated in Krishna consciousness, it is to be understood that they are on the path of liberation as confirmed in the Bhagavatam 2.10.6. Muktir hitvan yatharupam svarupyana vyavasthiti Liberation means to be situated in one's constitutional position as an eternal servitor of Krishna. Krishna Consciousness. Jai. 
Text 36. Apicheda si pape bia, sarve bia papa kritama, sarvam gyana plavena iva, vriginam santarisha si. Even if you are considered to be the most sinful of all sinners, when you are situated in the boat of transcendental knowledge, you will be able to cross over the ocean of miseries. Purport Proper understanding of one's constitutional position in relationship to Krishna is so nice that it can at once lift one from this struggle for existence, which goes on in the ocean of nations. This material world is sometimes regarded as an ocean of nations and sometimes as a blazing forest. In the ocean, however expert a swimmer one may be, the struggle for existence is very severe. If someone comes forward and lifts the struggling swimmer from the ocean, he is the greatest savior. Perfect knowledge received from the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the path of liberation. The boat of Krishna consciousness is very simple, but at the same time the most sublime. Hmm. Simple and sublime. Jay. Thank you so much for tuning in today. The book links, previous episodes, timeline, and biography of the author can be found on shravanamdiaries.com. The link is in the description, and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.